Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Dizzy Slay MUA. Today's video is going to be a little different as you see my beautiful friend. Look at her. Yeah, she's my model for today and I'm going to show you how I got this nice glam look, okay? Follow along. Alright, first I'm going to be setting her eyebrows. I'm using AC Cosmetics. This is in Butternut Beige. Then I use my ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. This is in Cool Cocoa. And if you watched any of my brow videos before, you know I'm going to outline it. So I start at the bottom first. It's perfect with her color, actually. Then I trace the top. And then I'm going to go in and fill it all in. But keep it natural with the strokes that you make, okay? Alright, now I am going around her brows with the concealer, make them look nice and sharp. This is the Born This Way in Maple. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to think. I don't have it in front of me. This is the Born This Way concealer in the shade Maple. And if you see, I left space in the front of her brow just because I like to do a shade closer to the complexion up there. So I'm actually using the Fit Me foundation. Um, this is in 360 Mocha. I'm going to use that for the front of her brows. And then you're going to see I'm going to do that along the top of her brows. I just like it to blend more with the, you know, with her actual skin color. You can do short strokes, whatever floats your boat, but I like to lay my brush really flat against the skin. It makes it sharper for me. All right, now I'm using this uh, blending brush for concealer, and that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blend out all the um, makeup around our brows. Mm, I really like this brush. It's by um, the brand Moda. I really like this one. Oh look, he's a baby. <laughs> but here I am taking the Moira Mega Concealer in Vanilla and I am covering her lid. I love to use this as an eyeshadow base. It's super light, so my colors always come out really pigmented, and it dries fast. I can't complain. Hey, that Juvia's Warrior 2 palette. I'm going to start with the shade Kufuru. And I'm going to focus that in the crease of her eyelid. As you can see, I'm really packing that color on. I want it to um, be deep color for me as far as um, being right there. It's going to really look nice once we blend our other colors with it too. See, and now I'm taking a fluffier brush and blending out the edges of it. Because right after that, we're going to lay another color on top. Now I am taking the shade Jamata. It's like um, it's a deep red color. And I'm placing that over top of basically like halfway of Kofuru. Like again, we're packing this color on. I want to be able to see all of my colors, but I want them to look nice and blended. See, pressing it in there. <laughs> and that is Jamata. Now I am using a fluffier brush again to help 
blend out Jamata along the edges. So I'm tapping that fluffy brush into the actual shade and then blending it around the outside. Like, do you see? Do you see how cute that looks? Oh my god. All that blending will give me carpal tunnel. But I feel like it's worth it. Now I'm going in with this peachy pinkish shade called Dara. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out Jamata. And I, I do take, like when I blend, I take it all the way from the end to just about the inside. Circular movements. We got this. Look at that. Ow. Now I am taking this deep dark shade, Shawata. I believe it's black, like, but watch me be wrong, but it definitely looks black. So I'm gonna put that on the outer part of our eye, but on the middle <laughs> of our color, if that makes sense. So that's where I was placing it, and now I'm blending it with a brush, blending it with a fluffier brush. Now I'm going in with Jay LaRue. I love their pigments. Here I'm using Jaya. And I'm not cutting a crease. I'm just going over the main part of her eyelid with this um, pigment. I'm gonna like pack it on. You'll see me like take it in sections. And take it even over top of the color on the top and over onto the black. All right, now this is how I get my um, eyelids to pop. After I have my shimmer down, I take my duo clear glue and I go over it in just random spots on the eyelid. And then I'm going to place glitter on top of it. This is just a mixture of glitter that I put together, a um, couple different brands. Um, this is a no wing liner. So we're taking this over into our black and that's where it's gonna stop. I really like this. Oh, that's my son. I am now taking the whiteout li liquid liner from Crown Case. Ow. <laughs> no, I love Crown Case. And I'm going over top of our black liner. And I'm going to stop it at the same spot. I don't know why white liner just makes it look pop. It does. Right, I had already went over her face with the Hangover Primer by Too Faced. And here, this is my mixture of Milk of Magnesia and the MAC Fix It Plus MAC. I am covering up her dark spots like many of us black girls here. So it's just a little lighter concealer. Again, that is the concealer by Born This Way in the Maple. Well, not by Born This Way, Too Faced. Now I'm going to apply her foundation. This is NYX Cosmetics. Can't stop, won't stop. This is the shade Mocha. And after I put the um, foundation on you know, my, pretty much like all over it, I'm gonna take um, my Real Techniques brush and I'm going to blend it out, buff it all, and always take it down, take it down the neck. Um, sometimes I'll be putting makeup on people's ears. You know, you want everything good to look the same. Like, as black women, we have a lot of discoloration in our skin, especially our face, neck, chest. So, we want everything to come together. So, 
see what I mean? We do these necks, we do our chin, all that, okay? Don't be afraid to ask your client to look up so you can put foundation on their neck. It's a must. Please, guys, please do it. Right now I'm going in to highlight with this concealer. Can you tell that I'm in love with the Born This Way? It's just everything, for real, for real. <laughs> so, cheeks over the lip, chin, center your forehead, and down your nose. <laughs> and I take that same brush that we used our foundation with to blend our concealer. I just like that it still has some of the foundation on it, so the concealer shouldn't stick out that much. I feel like it helps it blend better. And this brush is just like bomb.com. I'm adding a little bit more under her eyes just to make sure we have everything covered and I'm going to take a smaller brush to um, blend it all in. It's another um, concealer buffing brush that I really like. This is by the brand Kana or Kana? I don't know. K-A-N-A. -A. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Because you know like under the eyes where we tend to crease and we don't want to miss it with concealer. So make sure we get everything. Dotting our eyes and crossing our teeth, okay? Time to contour. I'm going down her nose. I really wish I remembered what concealer I used for this. But this is how I'm contouring her nose. I used a liquid one for the nose and then for the rest of her face I'm going to use my makeup revolution this is F18 my nose contour I'm going to blend out with another concealer brush I really like these fluffy brushes. They're everything for me. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna take um, a sponge and go over the nose because I wanna make sure our concealer, our highlight, and our contour blend together. Now I'm taking another big brush and I'm going to blend out our contour. I feel like she already has like naturally contoured cheeks. I just really love her face. Now I'm Okay, now I am setting under her eye. This is black opal powder in the shade medium. I love it. And then I go around the medium one with the shade deep. Just so I want everything to blend together. Blend, blend, blend. Same thing with our forehead and our chin. I do the medium and then I go around it with the deep. Now, I usually don't use a brush this big <laughs> to blend out my powder, but my smaller ones <laughs> were still wet because I had washed them, so they're still drying. But um, yes, now we're gonna brush that powder away. She's so cute. Now I'm adding some blush. This is from the Morphe palette, the 9N. And then y'all know, y'all know I was using Anglola on her. Right here I am adding the Anglola to her cheeks, popping, popping, and I placed it um, with my finger but I ended up blending it out with the brush. 
Now I'm taking this black liner. I don't take it all the way to the inner corner. Yes, you are. I'm blending this right here out with Jamata. <laughs> I'm blending the black out with Jamata and Shawata. I use both. All right, now, if this was me for the front of my eye at the bottom, I would have did glitter, but I know that her eyes are a little more sensitive and, you know, she wears glasses, so I didn't want her to have too much <laughs> going on. So I'm taking our Jayla Rue Shimmer in Jaya and I'm placing that right underneath. It gives a nice little pop, pop, pop. All right, I already added lashes. I didn't show that part on camera because my ugly face was in it. I was all standing in front of her, but add lashes, okay? I am going to take this brown pencil. This is a dark brown pencil by Kiss. Kiss Products, Kiss Cosmetics, whatever. This is their dark brown lip liner. It's my favorite brown liner to use. And I want to show you guys how do my lips. I love a natural look, especially if the eyes are popping. So after I outline the lip, I shade it up some, like shade it in some, because I don't want to have that 90s lip liner look. And I'm going to focus this color towards like the center of her lip. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Candy Man. Then I'm gonna go around the candy man and I'm using my pecan poppin by crown case and as I'm taking it around the lips I'm also um blending that brown liner Again, because I'm extra, I'm going over top of her lips again with crown case. This is the dipping sauce. This is that um, pink one with the hints of glitter in it. But I just like lips to be extra glossy, extra shiny. Um, I'm not a fan of matte lips. That's just me. So I'm glossing her lips up. And this is it. I am setting her face with my Urban K. Um, this is in the spray Be Slick. I love it. <laughs> After I spray her face, I like to um, fan it. So, voila. <laughs> Shock the shit out of her, right? <laughs> but thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Leave any questions down below for me. And it has been Dizzy Slate M-U-A. I'll see you next time.